I took a look at what you have in front of you, what you have in front of you, and I put it together in a chronological order so we can take a look at it. Um, we go back to February 11, back here, and uh, what we see here is his wife passes away, and as I told him, I'm sorry for his loss. No, nobody likes to experience that, and you say he kisses you the day of the memorial service. Your response was you pulled away, felt like it was too soon after his well, wife's death. Yeah, way but too soon. Now, at that point, this should really be a red flag for you. And it was. Okay, but then we come to March. This is just a month later. He announces love for you on the store loudspeaker and then shares an alleged letter from his deceased wife giving her blessing. And your response is you feel embarrassed that you're betraying your friend's memory, but you feel comforted by the letter. I did. You don't know about the authenticity of the letter, and kind of like the anxiety attack, it seemed to come in a really convenient time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It did. Wouldn't that cause you to say, I'm suspicious about this? Honestly, I was suspicious, but he, he is so good at making you feel like you're the queen of the world. And he <coughs> knew my prior relationship, so he knew how to work me. We come to April here, and there's an arranged proposal where he's singing and they're holding up signs and everything. And your, your response here is you agree to the marriage. I did. And in fact, you're married soon thereafter, yeah, like the right next month. Now. There's another red flag here that, that you should be concerned about? I should have, but I didn't. Okay, so now we jump ahead and we're into June of 2018. He physically abuses your daughter. Yes, he now, did. He'll say no to that, so he's not here, so let me deny it for him. Okay. Because he said before he left, I love my daughter, but you say you witnessed that he is squeezes her arm, he slapped her leg, and you, you told him that that was uncalled for. When that happened, I started thinking in myself, this, I'm not going to do this. He's not going to do this to our daughter. We actually have pictures of that. That's where he squeezed her arm. One definition of abuse is failure of a parent to keep a child out of harm's way. Me and her went to my parents. No, listen to me. It's endemic upon you if you have a child exposed to someone that you believe is a danger to them. Mm -hmm can get physical with them, can do harm to them mentally, emotionally, physically, or through negligence, fail to feed them, whatever, in any way constitute a problem with them. And you fail to remove that child from that situation. That's negligence on your part, well, and I you're called, guilty of abuse. I called the woman's hotline and asked them what I needed to do. Is the child still living in the home with the father? No, no. We're in okay. a separate home now. Okay, I, I, I want to be sure you understand the impact of this.